everybody? Welcome back to another great video. Hope you are having a good day out there. We are going to be unboxing and reviewing the Preachin portable 15.6 inch display. I also did a previous review on the 15.6 inch Lapau display and boy what a mess that was for almost $200. So I went online and I found the cheapest possible portable display expecting absolute garbage and it turned out to be the complete opposite. It's the best portable display so far yet that I've reviewed and I even saved my bank account $70. And maybe you will too if this is what you're looking for. Taking a look inside, we've got our micro HDMI to HDMI cable, a basic instruction booklet an AC power adapter it looks like this one is for 12 volts at 2 amps so 24 watts this case looks nicer than the previous one I like the look of this better than the lapel. Let's see how it looks inside. Hopefully it's all in good condition. It comes with a little screen protector, it appears. The monitor underneath. Oh my. Looking good. Review time. Here we are with the lapel 15.6 inch display. We're going to walk through all the pros and the cons of this and maybe something I think that they could improve. So if you're looking for a portable display right now, I'm going to tell you, Thumbs up on this one. Let's walk through it. Now, if you compared this to the Lapau display, their protector, this, this outer sort of shell, uh, did not come attached. So it would fall off all the time inside your bed, you'd be carrying it around, and it would just fall off, and it becomes a real hassle. So the fact that this is attached with two finger screws to hold it down to the display is awesome. I'm very happy about that. It makes it a much more simple experience for me to handle. That way, when I open this up, it's always gonna go into stain position number one, two, or three. So there are three markers here for me to put this into. Very happy about that. On the lapel, I really only had two ones that would hold nicely. So as long as you're on a level surface, great choice. Now looking here on the front, you're gonna tell that this is a plastic front and a plastic panel. Now this panel is thicker than the one on the lapel, so I can I feel like I can trust this a little more as far in terms of durability. On the back side, you're going to notice that it is made out of aluminum, so um, it's nice to have a little bit of uh, not just plastic on it to keep it held together. Um, so if you look over here, you're going to have your HDMI connections, your auxiliary ports, and you're also going to see your USB uh, power power option. Uh, and the uh, optional adapter option for the power. Now the adapter that it comes with is very short and it, I mean, it works, but you better get yourself an extension cord folks if you are planning on using that in real life. All right, here on the Jackery power station, our output is showing six watts going to the pre-chen monitor. Now I tried this on full display as well. It still draws six watts. What I like to do is get a little battery pack like this one, <laughs> a big battery pack. This is the Ramas. It easily can put out 10 watts, no problem, all day long, no, no sweat. And you take the USB end and you can just plug it in and it powers it and turns it on. And then you can plug in your Android device. Maybe it, uh, you probably could get Apple to maybe work with this. I tried it on Android and I tried it with Microsoft Windows 10 on our computer and it worked flawlessly. I plugged it in and boom, the screen was there. So I was very happy about that. It worked fine with Android and Windows 10, so keep that in mind. Uh, here on the other side, you're gonna notice that it has individual buttons. So you've got power, plus, minus, refresh, and your settings option. Now, they're not exactly intuitive, but if you read your instruction booklet that it came with, it has a nice visual diagram. So thumbs up to the instruction booklet for giving you a basic but detailed um, understanding of what you're getting into. And it says it right here. So you get all of your options. You can review that there and go through it. Not complex, folks. It's pretty easy. It's a nice portable display. See where we're going with this? It's nice. The display turns on quickly. It's not a hassle. The settings were easy to change. 
and most importantly, it actually remembers the memory of the settings that we put in. So let's go ahead, we're gonna plug that in real quick and take a look. So as you can see here, we're able to get our recording. It's all there and things are getting wavy, baby. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. Thank you for joining me on your beautiful path in life. Very grateful to have you here with me and we're just on this journey here together. What a beautiful thing that is. Figures in the front, held but back by the masks that are being thrust upon us. I disagree with this and I feel that we need to express our journey, the life that we came here to live. And I really wanted to share that here with you today. I will continue my series. Which way should we go? I think right here. It's like a beautiful spot. Here today, coming out of the closet, moving down the path here in nature. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I now with the Android display on many of the phones, it's not going to blow up to fill up the entire screen. Uh, when you go to watch a YouTube video, it'll cover up m the majority of the display, but it won't fill up the whole thing. So do keep that in mind. If you're running Windows, it'll fill the whole thing up. Boom. There it is. It does come with the secondary HDMI option. So if you're making this a more permanent homes spot for it, then you can plug in a secondary option and just have the cable sitting there ready to plug in when you want to use it. Now, if you remember on my previous review of the lapel, it did not remember our settings. So if you take a look here on the settings option, uh, you're going to notice that the brightness is still at 100 where I left it at yesterday. So this device has been off power for almost 24 hours and it's remembering the settings. The lapel did not remember the display settings. What a useless thing because then every time you plug it in, you have to dink around with it and play with the settings. So ease of use, definitely better. The, again, the, uh, the, back, the back side here is attached to the display. I don't have to screw with it. The buttons are separate. I don't have to play with it. The, the memory is being retained on it. I don't have to, to go in and adjust it every single time. And the display connection, if I wiggle this cord, it's not coming undone. And if I wiggle this cord, the power is still on. So if it gets bumped, I don't lose my display. And I had that same problem with the lapel unit. So overall, this has just been a great experience. I'm very happy I'll be keeping this. And I really hope that this review today gives you some good detail as to what to expect from it. You can check out the audio, see how it sounds. Uh, but overall, the display quality is excellent for $100. 30 140 dollars i mean who are we kidding here this is a great buy so that concludes today's review for the pre-chen portable display even though they did an oopsie and sent me the 11.6 inch display the first time they made up for it gracefully by sending a replacement at no cost and i was patient i waited for it and i'm glad i did because so far i'm happy with this display let me know in the comment section down below what kind of display do you have maybe what kind of display are you looking into getting uh, what kind of setup do you have? I'd like to know in the comments down below. Don't forget to share this video. I've heard it helps. And uh, subscribe to the channel for more. I do tech reviews. I do some nature stuff. It just depends on what you're into. Subscribe. Check me out. Hope you have a good day. Thanks for watching.